Hi friends, welcome to another video on GT Coding. In this video, we are going to create social media share buttons for our web page. So this is the web page that we had created in the last video. We had created a responsive web page and this is the HTML that we have. So let me just show you what we are going to design. So here we have a set of social media buttons. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus and we have this hover animation and when we click on one of these buttons we can see that we are taken to a Facebook page and if the user logs into his Facebook account he can share our web page directly we also have the link of Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus so if the user is already logged in he will be taken to a page where the link of our web page will be already present and the user just needs to click on the share button so let's get started so to create these icons over here we need to download font awesome so let's go to our browser so this is the website fontawesome.io and when we go into this website we have this download link over here and when we click on this we get a model by the way i also created a video on how to create model you can check that out so just click on no thanks just download font awesome 4 you can see we get a download prompt and click on save now we have that font awesome downloaded the next thing you need to do is extract the folder and copy it in your project folder so this is my project folder and i have copied this font awesome folder in that we have these different files and folders so this is the the css that we are going to access we don't need this so let's get started so first of all we will create a division called share in our html so we will so below our navigation bar we will create a division with the class name of share and in that we will create some unordered lists so ulli and in that we will create some anchor tags so now we have to use font awesome that we have downloaded so font awesome is basically a set of icons that you can use in your html so first of all we need to link the css so we will type in link and here we will type font awesome css and font awesome min dot css so now we have linked our font awesome now to use font awesome you have to check what code should be written for each of the icons so we will check the official website now we will click on icons here we can see all the icons that are available for use so here we will search for Facebook and we can see we have three different icons over here so if you want this icon just click on this to display this icon you have to copy this whole line of code over here so just copy it and here we will paste it so here you can see the icon is displayed over here in the same way you have to search for different icons and copy and paste all of them in your anchor tags so we will just do that so we'll copy this list item we have three more of them and the next icon is of Twitter so we'll just replace Facebook with Twitter LinkedIn and Google Plus Google plus so we have all our icons ready 
so now when we click on this icons we need to share the link of our page so for that there is a website called sharelinkgenerator.com so in that you just have to type the URL of your web page so here I will type the URL of my YouTube page https www.youtube.com gt coding so now just click on create link and you get this HTML link over here so we'll just copy this to other social media networks copy this create link copy create link copy in LinkedIn you can also set the title so we'll just type web development tutorials so now we have to just copy this text and paste it in place of our hash so we will just paste it and we have our Facebook share link over here now if we click on this Facebook button we can see we have this login prompt and if we login we can share the link of our page so we will just do the same to all our other social media buttons so here I have just copied all the share links so I will just check so we'll just check them out click on Facebook we have this Facebook login prompt Twitter LinkedIn and Google Plus so we also need to do one more thing that is when we click on one of these buttons we need to open it in a new tab so here we can see it opens in a new tab so for that you have to just type target blank in your anchor tag and if you click on this Facebook button now we can see it opens in a new tab we'll do this for all our other anchor tags so now we are done with our HTML now we will go to our CSS and style these buttons so over here I will just type a comment social media buttons so we'll type share and set the width to 44 pixels height to 140 pixels background black padding of 10 pixels position fixed bottom 70 pixels which means it will stay 70 pixels above the bottom of the web page right to 0 pixels and cursor pointer border radius 8 pixels 0 pixels 0 pixels and 8 pixels so we have only these two corners affected we'll also set an opacity of 0.5 and the color of the text to white font size to 20 points and we will set the transition of everything to 0.5 seconds now we will style the list items so for that we will just type share ul ally and here we will set the list style 
to none that will get rid of the bullets now we will style our anchor tags text decoration to none which will which will hide the underlines and color of the text to white now we will style what should happen when we hover over the share division so share hover we will set the opacity to 1 and the width to 50 pixels so here we can see when we hover over this we have the width changing and also the background color changing so now we want each of the social media buttons to change colors when hovered over them so for that we will access the class that it has so if we go to our html we can see here we have a class of fa and also fa facebook square so this is a class that is used over here so we can access that class and we can change some things over there so we will go to our css and here we will type dot fa facebook square hover and we will change the color of the text to hash 3b5998 so we can see we have the color of facebook changing we'll do the same for all our other icons so fa twitter square hover color to 55acee now fa google plus square hover and the color to hash dd4 b39 and at last fa linked in square hover and its color to hash 007 bb6 so now if we check this out we can see that we have all the icons changing their colors and if you click on any of them we can go to the share page of the website and just log in and share the link of the page to their social media accounts that's pretty much it for this tutorial we can also create links for other social media networks by using font awesome and generate the share link using the website that i had shown so that's basically it for this tutorial so i hope you have understood how to create these social media buttons and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not done already thanks a lot for watching have a nice day